and the men's elite get underway spot on time at 10 o'clock about six hours and 20 minutes maybe six and a half hours depends how they ride these early laps we know the rain is coming as well and we know that this course can be treacherous on the descents in the rain there'll be no big hurry to rush away that's for sure 254.8 kilometers it's a long day in the saddle at the moment there's no wind it's overcast it is pleasantly warm for the time of the morning well looks like we have our first attack looking down there and i think it is miguel uh, chavez and here we have some uh, attackers five riders here but well, it looks as though the peloton might be crossing the gap at the moment they've just been joined here at the front by Savikas of Lithuania in that red and yellow jersey Aradondo leading uh, Kisolovsky for Croatia Alexandra Polivoda at the back here for the Ukraine He's the one man who's trying to hold them all off. They must know now they're coming, and here they come. There's a coming together of about 19 riders here. Have they got the strength to push on? Because this is the move now. They're scooting across the gaps here. Almost thought the Danish rider was going to hit the camera there for a the moment. Visconti and Peter Kenyok, they take over um, Carlos Julian Quintero, the last of our original four breakaway riders. Well, there's no way that he can hold on to these two riders oh, now. This is Tony Martin. <laughs> and who else descending like that? <laughs> this boy can r descend. He, if he gets away in alone, he's about the only man capable of riding the whole remaining distance of this race on his own. Well, he almost did it last year in the Tour of Spain, and how <laughs> heartbreaking was it yes. that uh, in the end, 200 meters from the line, the peloton came back and Michael Morkov won the stage. But oh, the entire world was cheering for uh, Tony Martin. Bunch led by Michael Albacini. Tony Martin being reeled back in by Sepp van Marke. Well, it looks like it's uh, coming together just on the top of the mirror door here uh, back to 13 the baker's dozen at the front and that's it for tony martin tim Venom's having trouble here on this climb he's of course still a very young lad and cancellara set his whole season out on a victory here there's simon gerens gerens eating on the left just stoking up for tonight perhaps that's the season pro if you think about eating at 12k from the finish then you know your job. Anser van Rensburg sneaking up on the left of our picture. Relying heavily on the work of the Spanish now to pull this race together. It's a typical Valverde finish this, an opportunist attack near the end from the Spanish time trial champion. Lars Peter Nordhout looking for Alexander Kristoff there. Well, they're saying this peloton is down to 62 riders, and that in itself is huge at this stage of the championship. They're still in the backdrop here. These boys still have a hope. Dimarki in second wheel, still Kirienka. They're saying it's six seconds now as they get round the corner. These four have got round safely, but six seconds, absolutely nothing. And they're right too because that's the same corner and the peloton are ah, almost Kwiatkowski. on them. Michal Kwiatkowski. Well, he's, got, he's playing his cards and this is why they, they made the move. This is a good moment, Phil. He must Phil. feel good. Well, if they're all fully extended, yes, it is a good moment. But he's taking a gamble here to go alone. 6.8 kilometres to go. He's got to catch the boys up front as well. Very exciting this is. Who is going to take the rainbow jersey home? Rui Costa wore it for a year. Who's going to be its new wearer? Yesterday was Pauline ferrand prévot winning the women's race. She did that in a sprint of a reduced group. Which came together a kilometre out and we could be in a similar situation, Demarkey. Too much watching in this group. 
as uh, Kwiatkowski has reached the four. Five leaders now, but the peloton is straight there, led by the Spanish. He's going to just take a deep breath and I think jump on the <laughs> and go again. sector. He's got to try. He's got to try. Second overall in the recent Tour of Britain, so he's got the form. He led the race for a couple of days. He has been over-raced this year by his team, Kwiatkowski, but he, uh, like you said, refound the form just ahead of this World Championships. See, these riders are sensing that it won't be a group sprint as they try to open these gaps. Well, the Spanish only have one rider there at the first, um, uh, at the front of the peloton, and nobody's doing anything. And this is a great move, and it was a fantastic moment decided by um, Michal Kwiatkowski. Is this Rodriguez? It's Caruso, I think, who's made a move. We'll find out as he goes over the timing system, but he's gone just before the summit. There's the remnants of the break. They've been passed now. Not sure where Kirienka's gone. There's Kwiatkowski. He's heading for the kilometre sign. The pack are reforming, but the camera foreshortens the lens here. Schilberg grits his teeth. Galapan is in this group as well. For France in the dark colours. It's been his season this year. Valverde's dropped to the back. He's going to have to jump sooner or later. This is desperately close. Just a, a second from the end, there's Greg Van Avermaet. Simon Gerrans, the opportunist who wins only big races, that Australian, and he's right there. Gilbert grits his teeth. This is the swing now, but coming up the home straight, is this the first ever Polish man to win the World Elite Championships? They're lining up the sprint behind, and the hesitation oh. <laughs> may be the victory margin required here by Kwiatkowski. Mikkel Kwiatkowski, the 24-year-old, hanging on as the sprint opens up with Galapan and Van Evermart. Valverde trying to get on, on the mix as well, so nope. too is Matty Breschel coming through, but it's all too late. He better keep going, but he's feeling he's done it as he comes over the line. Kwiatkowski, what a brilliant day for the Poles, have got it on the line. And uh, the, an incredible result guy he took all the risks he could take on the descent and he held off that chasing group with uh, Valverde with Gerens with Matti Breschel Greg van Avermaet Philippe Schubert and Tony Galopin <laughs> well only the 11th win of a career which began when the world championships were being held in 2010 in Geelong in Australia and here we are now a world champion four years on after his debut as a pro